In order to develop a stronger security awareness culture, it is important to keep communicating what value it brings to the organization as well as the individual. Explain what it is, how it works, and what it adds to the organization. And try to anchor your security culture in the already existing overarching company culture. Use the values defined in the company culture as drivers for your security culture. You'll find that it's much easier to involve the entire organization, as everybody already understands the value of your company culture. So adding security culture to this leverages this understanding and makes the development process much easier. So the key word here is really over time. By combining frequent phishing simulations with targeted training and frequent awareness communications, as well as visible leadership support, you will see a culture change. However, it's a little bit like flossing. It's not something that you can do just once a year. It has to be done consistently and ongoingly. Once you already have your security awareness program up and running, one of the key next steps to do is to create a strong security culture. And developing that over time is going to take uh, an effort. Uh, when it comes to that stronger security culture, you're gonna have to have the buy-in from the organization. And now we're not talking about just the C-suite and your upper management. Now we're talking about the users themselves. And they're the ones that are gonna be buying into that strong security culture. Everybody from the boardroom to the mailroom has to be able to accept that culture. Uh, having that buy-in, having that awareness still doesn't make them want to care about it, but with the, through the use of policies and your processes and your, and your upper management acceptance, that's going to start that process for your security culture, along with making it so that people feel that they're a part of the organization when it comes to protecting it, realizing that their email is a gateway really into the organization and they have to have that top of mind mentality to be able to keep the organization secure as well. Culture has many different dimensions to it. There are attitudes, behaviors, cognition, communication, compliance, norms, responsibilities. It's important to remember that it's about consistency, not intensity. So don't try to go in with a big bang approach, but rather have a measured pace for the longer time. Understand the exact security behaviors you're trying to change to create a positive security culture. And then perhaps most importantly, tie that security culture into your organizational culture. Security culture doesn't exist in a vacuum separate from all the other culture. So it needs to be embedded as part of the overall organizational culture in order to be effective. If you wanna work on uh, creating a better security culture within your organization, there's a couple of things that'll help with that. Uh, number one is understanding that culture comes from clear and repeatable actions. In other words, it's things that are going on that other peers are doing, that it's very obvious that these are the expected behaviors. Um, as you get people doing that, more people do it, more people see it, it becomes the norm. Now your culture begins to be formed uh, under those pretenses and those rules that you have in place that you want people to follow. The other thing you want to do is you want to educate people on things so they understand why they're doing certain things. So it makes sense to them. So they go, oh, okay, now I know why I don't want to reuse a password everywhere. Use interesting topics, things that, that matter to them at home as well as in the workplace. And you'll find that people will react to that much better. And eventually the entire security culture will improve.